cap off 2014. And unfortunately, domestic violence is on the rise in the metro. About 50 cases reported in Douglas County last month alone. Investigators say it is a dramatic increase that's also a sad statistic of the holiday season. KATV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl joins us live. And Brandy, that number, about 50 cases, that's just county cases, not city. Numbers that one hospital says they're trying to reduce because the next report could be another life taken by domestic violence. If these walls could talk, they'd talk about changing and saving lives. I think when people come here, they're broken. Their spirits are broken. They have nothing left. Since launching in October, this room's anchored Methodist sexual assault and domestic violence response team. Ann Boatwright says the number of patients is eye-opening. In October, we saw when we normally would see 10 patients a month, um, we saw 20-some off the bat, and then in November, almost 40. An average of one domestic violence victim a day, and that's just a fraction of what Douglas County investigators see. Probably this week, maybe three to five cases per day. And, and for our jurisdiction, that's, uh, that's quite a few cases. Sergeant John Pankinen says during the holidays, deputies took more than 50 complaints of domestic violence. So the other thing with the holidays, too, is you know people try to rekindle maybe past relationships that were, were already severed. At its worst, people die. That's why Methodists held a vigil for Kelsey Miller. Lincoln police say her husband killed her. We don't ever want to lose someone's life to domestic violence. This is a preventable um, crime. Preventable with the help of the latest technology, like this flashlight that can detect evidence of strangulation. The only one in the city. Oftentimes with strangulation injuries, things can be um, not visible to the naked eye. But what victims will see is that here, they're not alone. Even though the patient is a large piece of the puzzle, they become part of the puzzle instead of the sole um, peace standing on their own. Now, Methodist says their nurses are specifically trained to talk with victims of domestic violence. Nurses that are also on call 24 7 whenever someone needs help. Back to you.